Hello everybody, I am Ardhindu De. You are watching Eddie's English Literature. Today, we are going to analyze psychological novel or stream of consciousness technique. But particularly, we are focusing D.H. Lawrence's Sons and Lovers as a psychological novel or stream of consciousness. We will try to understand is this novel a truthful depiction of human psychology or is it more a panorama of human existence as well as our mental state of affairs. Now first what is psychological novel? The remarkable development of psychological novel is a notable phenomenon of the 20th century literary scene. The psychology of the characters and the typical problems emanating from a particular psychological pattern from the staple of a psychological novel. This uh, psychological novel has been usurred primarily by Virginia Woolf and James Joyce in English literature. The psychoanalytical novel, as the very name it implies, lays trace on psychoanalysis. Now, the psychoanalysis, the Freudian term, and what is psychoanalysis? It's, um, it's a wider range of depiction. The novelist uh, becomes a psychoanalyst and he brings into fact the subtle and intricate psychological cross currents. The analysis of the psychology of the characters is what constitutes the motive of psychoanalytical fiction. Now, uh, what is the part of a scientist or a um, psychiatrist is being done by the novelist. So, or close, uh, it is uh, done close by uh, the novelist. The novelist goes um, into deeper and deeper into the innermost crevice of the psychology of his characters and he brings out or externalizes the subtle psychological framework of the character. So, what we find in psychoanalytical novel is that of a analysis of the character from a psychiatrist point of view. It was undoubtedly the great creative fecundity of D. H. Lawrence who was responsible for the intention of the psychological novel. It can be asserted without any fear of refutation that um, Lawrence is the pioneer of psychological fiction. The psychological theories and concepts, uh, as you all know, is enunciated and disseminated by Freud and Jung, the revolutionized uh, two great scientists uh, or psychiatrists. Uh, who, who, by their works, they revolutionized uh, the world of conventional human thought or understanding of the human thought or the metrics of human um, behavior. They, of course, exerted a great formative influence on Lawrence. In fact, uh, they have changed the course of actions of the writers. According to these eminent thinkers, and stalwarts of psychology, human thought is operative at three levels, consciousness, subconsciousness and unconsciousness. The mass of human thought lies dormant in the subconsciousness and the unconsciousness mind, but it sometimes comes out into surface. Lawrence, as a psychological novelist, has sought to externalize the recondite thoughts which lie hidden in the inner in the inner recesses of the subconsciousness and unconsciousness of our mind as a corollary to this change in the novelist's aim and objective a shift is to be noticed in the theme of the modern novel so earlier the novels were descriptive part from outer surface but in this kind of novels, there has been a deeper dive into the thought content of the very characters.
instead of portraying the life and activities of an Augustan hero in a vast and Ascalian scale, you know, the grandiloquent scale, the psychological novelist concentrates on the subtle sets of psychology or the, or the psyche of his characters. So what we find, Lawrence was preoccupied with the inner life of his characters. He set himself to the task of portraying the psyche or the, or the simmeriness and not the hard facts. Robert Humphrey has stated, a notable critic has stated that uh, the modern psychological novel is a type of fiction in which the basic emphasis is placed on exploration of the pre-speech level of consciousness for the purpose primarily of revealing the psychic being of the characters. Miller has also of the view that uh, in the modern psychological novel that of the Lawrence we notice withdrawal from external phenomena into the internal into the flickering half sets of the uh, author's private world or rather character's private world. So this shift the outer surface into the inner core has been the very term or terminology or the design of the uh, novel in T.H. Lawrence. Now what that stream of consciousness uh, suggests? It's a stream, it's, it's a flow of river. But here water is not going, going the thought content. The modern novelists including Lawrence take the reader straight into the psychological plane of the characters or rather thought, the flow of the thoughts of the character. And in so doing, they allow the readers to discern the incision flow of the sensations and impressions which rise up in the minds of the characters. The psychological novelist, including D. H. Lawrence, have resorted to a new technical device that has rendered the ultra reality or immense help to the novelist to expose the ultra reality. So uh, the novelist had their bid to lay bare the psyche or the soul of the characters and that is made possible by this thought content or by this interpretation of thoughts. The stream of consciousness technique has made it possible for the novelist to experiment uh, on time and place. So what it happens in general narrative that they are restricted by time, place and action. But in stream of consciousness, there is ample opportunity for the uh, writers uh, to explore on time and place because they are more focusing on the psychological time and place. The plot is reduced from the bondage of time, you know. The action does not proceed forward chronologically. The novelist very often flout the norms and propriety. In order to suit the artistic purpose, the novelists make the action more forward or action making forward and simultaneously when needed in backward journey. In this context, the pertinent observation of David Deitches uh, makes it interesting. He says, He says, the stream of consciousness technique is a means of escape from the tyranny of the time dimensions. It is not only in distinct memories that the past impinges on the present, but also in much vaguer and more subtle ways. Our mind floating off down some channels superficially revealed, but really having a definite startling of place from the initial situation so that in presenting the character's reaction to events, the author will show us states of mind being modified by associations and recollections deriving from the present situation but referring to a Constantly shifting series of events in the past. What it simply says that the present is being interpreted 
through the past associations not only the past happenings but also in the subconscious levels of past which is hidden which is not exposed uh, in front of realistic world so what we find in stream of consciousness is a kind of definite say of inner world now lawrence bold originality is exemplified by his style which is impressionistic lawrence style is more poetic than that of prosaic style of others he has used very plain vivid images and symbols for giving expressions to the complex thought process of the psyche of his characters long before the aversions of the stream of consciousness novels lawrence foreshadowed the style of consciousness novels why because um, the the restrictions of stating the chronological events of a novel or of a character is that it cannot tell the alter truth or a realistic truth rather this type of novels uh, is not uh, the way by which one can say the inner world james joyce or virginia would also made uh, their innovative ways and ultimately the stream of consciousness or the style of stating the stream of consciousness novels has been found i think you have little bit knowledge of that kind of complexity or oedipus complexity that constitute the psychological problem and uh, the very nucleus of the novel songs and the lovers the possessive character of mrs morel here we find uh, was a great stumbling block in the life of paul the hero of this very interesting psychological novel uh, she has terribly dissatisfied with her marriage life so married life uh, of paul's mother is uh, quite uh, not satisfactory she exerted her influence um, uh, on the life of her child paul who could not liberate himself from the mother fixation or excessive affection towards mother so mother's influence was so predominant and so overwhelming so overwhelming assertive that paul could not get a balanced emotional life so paul cannot control a balanced way of life due to mother fixation he failed to establish a relationship both with miriam and clara the two women that came into his life the mother image was a deterrent to the emotional life of paul who himself was also a highly sensitive person and in his attachment with mother we notice the warmth and passion of lover this complex psychological problem uh, has been treated or delineated by lawrence with the beautiful poetic style a, cons a consummate art um, of uh, monologue type uh, which is being uh, stated in this novel an unfailing observation and insight of true psychology or true psychiatrist can be seen in this novel so it's a good read you must follow the text now coming to the discussion of source and lovers as a totality of analysis of the psychology there might be different kind of faults uh, that cannot make a true psychological novel as this lorenz piece is but it is fair to say that lorenz has at least tried to say what his character wishes to set forth uh, to the public or to the uh, next audience now this type of novels uh, can have two problems one is the author's limitation of stating the fact in words and next uh, the novel 
or the writing of this kind of novel also have the compulsion of making a market. The theme of the Sonsan lovers is so attractive and so epoch making and so striking when it was being published that um, the, the audience, audience did not uh, accept it uh, with applauds. But uh, truly, slowly and slowly the audience get the acceptance of this kind of reality and um, the author's restriction is being now removed but initially it had a great problem for the authors to make a market so i think uh, this little piece of information as well as analysis will help you to understand dh lawrence sons and lovers so like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of post and further bye bye thank you